What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you a new location that I'm using on Red Dead Redemption Online where you can make yourself quite a bit of money. Before we get into the video make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you turn on notifications to be notified when my next video goes live. With this location you shouldn't really have too much of a problem with griefing but if you do go into a lobby and there does happen to be a few people there make sure you spawn in either Tumbleweed or go and spawn in St. Denis and then fast travel to either Strawberry or Valentine. The location that we're going to is just above Strawberry but then also just to the left of Valentine so it doesn't really matter which one you go to. Just go to the one that is the cheapest. Once you fast travel to either Valentine or Strawberry head all the way over to this location. This location is pretty far away you have to travel for quite some distance but on the way there are quite a few different things to do. This will just add a bit more money to what you're doing as well as a bit more XP. On the way you'll have a gang hideout which is just above the little creek and there you can get a bit of stuff as well as some jewellery. On top of that, if you're either travelling from Valentine or you're travelling from Strawberry, you should come across a gang ambush. So there, again, you can make a bit more XP and if you loot them, you can also make a bit of money. Anyway, once you get to this location, you have two different types of methods. The first one is that you can go and put your fishing rod in this river and eventually fish will spawn in and you all you have to do is just wait. With the current of this river, fish will just wash up to the side of it and eventually they'll just die and that means you can go go around picking them all up making yourself a bit of money. This way is fairly inconsistent, sometimes you can make yourself a lot of money, a lot of fish will end up going to the sides but sometimes fish will just die and they'll just get completely taken down with the current and you have to chase after them and most of the time you will miss them unless you're constantly using your evil eye. The second way you can do it is by going over to this rock right in the middle of the stream, stand on it and just pull out your fishing rod and actually start fishing. Because you're throwing your fishing rod against the current, as soon as you pick up a fish and you can start you know reeling it in fish just get drawn to you immediately so you don't really have to worry about reeling it in as soon as you catch a fish it'll just come straight to you which means you can probably get a fish maybe every 20 to 30 seconds as well as whilst doing this fish will still get washed up to the side of this stream so, so after you've got all the fish and you're finished with fishing you can then go around this stream and you can pick up even more fish in about 10 or 15 minutes you can make yourself round about 30 to 40 dollars that's not including the fact that you have to then travel back to either Strawberry or Valentine. Another thing about this location is that occasionally a bear will spawn in. And it doesn't give you that much money, but it's just something a bit extra to add on top of the fact that you're getting quite a bit of money through doing the fishing. If a bear does not spawn in this area, what you can do is head down to Strawberry, and as you're going down to Strawberry, there is actually a cougar location. If you head to this location right here, you can actually get yourself a cougar that can potentially go for $22. That, on top of the fact that you're getting $30 to $40 full of fish, and also you can get a cougar, makes this very, very good. The only problem with this method is the distance you have to travel either from Valentine to this location or from Strawberry to this location, but I'm hoping the fact that you can get yourself fish, cougars, as well as birds, you can make yourself some decent amount of money, which makes the traveling worth it. Anyway guys, that is the method that I've been using for the last couple of hours on Red Dead Redemption Online to make myself a little bit more money. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but for now, I'm going. So see ya.